ever find yourself wishing you could spend holidays with your friends instead of with your family? In fact, do you consider your friends to be your family? Because the thought of being with your blood relatives is just really stressful. I have a question for you. What if you chose to make your family your friends? Now, before you turn off the video and go someplace else, just stop a moment. Because what happens is you have expectations that your family members are going to behave a certain way. That Uncle Joe is going to tell these certain stories and Aunt Faye is going to be fetching about her aches and pains and on and on and on. And that's what you expect. And lo and behold, oh my goodness, that's what happens. It's because you have expectations. And you know what? If those family members behave differently, lovingly, interestingly, you're not going to see it. Because those other behaviors don't fit what you accept as possible from them. So you filter them out as if you're wearing blinders because you are wearing blinders. Blinders not allowing in new information, new behavior from those people. Now, the fact is that your energy is impacting everybody around you. And their energy is impacting everybody around you and you. So when you have a different expectation, your energy shifts. And here's a really cool thing. People show up the way you expect them to show up. Well, of course they do, because those are the only behaviors you're looking for. They're the only behaviors you see. Now, what if you could turn all those family get-togethers into happy, pleasant times, or at the very least, not miserable, painful times? You think that would make a difference in your life? You know, in the end, in the big picture, your family is there because of you. And that's a story for another time explaining how that really happens. It just isn't true that you can't f choose your family, that you can choose your friends. But since that's a story for another time, right here, right now, you can choose to make your family, your friends. Now I'm speaking from personal experience. My brother was 70. I was in my 60s when we finally became best friends. Because I dropped my expectations of him and he dropped his expectations of me. And it's just something cool that happened. And it's really cool to be close. <laughs> To a blood relative, because you know, as you get older, there just aren't that many. I wish you a wonderful, peaceful time at your family get together the next time. And you can find me, Ellie Meerman, at your relationship intelligence dot com.